Dr. Gunsmith back again. Uh, this little video here is going to show you how we make trade gun thimbles. The little ridged, very thin sheet metal thimbles. Uh, generally two or three used on a gun. Uh, I will show you how we do this real quickly in this video. Uh, probably not something that can be done easily at home unless you want to spend some time making some tooling first. So uh, let me get set up and I'll show you how we do that. All right, hang on. All right, so first off we need some sheet brass. This is 16 thousandths, about the thinnest I can get from a company called Online Metals. Uh, anything below this is called shim stock. But this is just, like I said, 16 thousandths. And I get it in one foot square pieces and I cut them down. Uh, my size that I use is one and a half inches wide, three inches long, and I like my thimbles to have a long tab because on some of the guns that I build and I've seen uh, from the 18th century, the tabs actually go all the way through the bottom of the stock into the barrel channel and then the tabs are cut off short and they're actually bent over inside the barrel channel. That eliminates having to use a, a pin to hold them in place. So that's what I make up. And then if I need one where I pin it in place, I just simply cut this down to length. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to need to anneal the brass. And that's been done on these here. Uh, simply heat them up with a propane torch. Dip them in water real quick while they're still hot. And that makes them nice and soft. So you can see I can bend that around pretty easily. This stuff here is a little more stiff. Uh, then we uh, use a little die like this one. This is one that I handmade years ago. Just a positive negative. And when you see when they're together, they produce the teeth. And we'll simply put the brass in here, centered, and then squeeze it in an arbor press, which is right here. So let me um, put this in here, center there. And I do have a 10 ton hydraulic press, which works great for this too, but it's a little hassle to get it set up. top and a bottom to this on these it's hard to see but this outside edge here bends up and that will be this being the outside of the thimble now once I've done a bunch of these to this point the next step will be to use a folder and I'll start that with this die and it's been milled out with a 3 8 inch groove and a place to set these so I know I've got it straight in there and then I've got a piece of wood stick in there that's been shaped as a mandrel make sure we get it in nice and straight ease it down And now we have the U-shape. So that's the start of it. Now the next thing will be to pinch these two ears together around a 3 8 inch mandrel. And let me go over the other end of the bench there and I'll show you how that's done. Alright, so with just a simple vise here and I've got a 3 8 inch steel mandrel. We'll set the symbol on there. legs down and we'll start squeezing this and I want to start so it looks like you're going to actually grab the bottom of the mandrel uh, 
because you want it to actually pinch and pull this down as tight as possible. So a little pressure on top, make sure it doesn't pop up on you. And then I'll make sure it's straight by adjusting this. Take it out, and there you go. One thimble. Now this still has a little spring in it from work hardening, so what I'll do is I'll pinch this together with a pair of needle nose pliers and heat it up and anneal it again, and that'll give us that. Uh, it'll bring it together nice and tight, like this one. All right. So that's it. Nothing to it. So here I just wanted to sort of recap. This is uh, the sheet as it's cut, still tempered. This has been annealed. Here you go with the ribs forced into it with the die. Bent over into the U shape using the uh, die I've got here and then final product. Now the nice thing is too with these if you want to put them on a buffing wheel or something you can buff these up pretty quick to a nice bright color. Uh, quite often I'll leave them this way especially in the kits you can decide whether you want to buff them or just leave them in this tarnished uh, effect which gives you a nice aged appearance. So that's all there is to it. Hope this was helpful to some of you out there. Y'all take care.